Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about saving Lee Alzheimer Primavera P6. If you're enjoying the content so far, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel where we'll be sharing more tips and tutorials for using Primavera P6. In previous tutorials, you may have learned how to organize your layout with specific columns on your table, special colors or labels on the Gantt chart and other visual settings. So once you have adjusted the visualization and format settings to your good at, to your liking, it's a good idea to save it as a layout, which is what we are looking at here. You can find the layout options both in the in the view menu bar, which is the fed option on the menu bar. And by on the first option, there is the layout view. And we've got three options, open layout, save layout, save layout as. Or you can also find it by clicking in the activity window and you see the drop down there, which says classic layouts schedule. So again, you have the same options as before. Open, save, save as. Using the save option means overwriting any current, using the save option means overwriting any current layout that is being utilized. And in our case, this is, a diff this is the default layout called classic schedule layout. To avoid overwriting default layouts, it's better to save your own layouts with the save layout as option, which is the second option in our menu. Sorry, third option in our menu, save as option. So if I click on the save as option, a window will be prompted where you can define the layout's name. Also, if this layout is meant to be applied by other users in the defined projects, select here the second option and specify the projects and user from the drop down list. So that is a project from the drop down list, or you specify the user from the drop down list. In our case, this user has this user is myself, which is admin logical. But if it's not the case, keep the current user option and click save, and automatically that will save our layouts to whichever layout's name is on there, which in this case is classic schedule layout. So we can try it out just to see what I mean. So I'm going to save this now as, save layout as, and in this case, I'm going to call it Anton Shadow Layout. And because it's the current user, I'll leave it as that, but if it's a project, if it's for the whole project, you save it to the project. But if it's just for the current user, which in this case is Anton, you save it to just that user and click on save. And there you can see that our layout view is now called Anton's Schedule Layout 2. If you want to see and apply any one of those default layouts or the previous one which we've had, we'll use the open layout option. So we'll click again on the drop down menu bar and click on open. And then we'll look for whichever name was our previous layout, which in our case was the classic shadow layout view. You click on that, which is our, pref which our preferred option. You click on that. And then you click apply. Automatically, it's giving us the previous layout which we were on, which is a classic la shadow layout. You can also import or export this layout. Using any of the using any of these options here, so I'm just going to click on the export button or tab to try this out. So you click on export, you save it wherever you want to save it, 
and then the file name is a classic schedule layout. So whatever you have chosen on our activity window is what will show on here. So in this case, it's a classic schedule layout, and then it saves it automatically as Primavera layout file. And then you click on save. So you can save that to wherever you want to go. Finally, remember that the activities, resource assignments, and other Primavera P6 windows have their own tabs. So in each one, you'll be able to save and load a separate set of layouts. So it depends on which, if you're on the resources, you can save that. If you're on the WBS, you can save that layout. So, so it depends on whichever of the windows you find yourself. So that was all. That is all for the basic layout functions. You'll surely find it useful to switch between tags that need different visualizations of your plan. So stay tuned, like and subscribe to our channel and share with anyone who may find it helpful. Thank you.